Good afternoon and welcome to a daily dose of good news on Friday, December the 4th. It is good to be with you. Good news today comes from uh, the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 1, verses 4 to 10. Now the word of the Lord came to me saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you, and before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. Then I said, Ah, Lord God, truly I do not know how to speak, for I am only a boy. But the Lord said to me, Do not say, I am only a boy, for you shall go to all to whom I send you, and you shall speak whatever I command you. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Then the Lord put out his hand and touched to my mouth, and the Lord said to me, Now I have put my words in your mouth. See, today I appoint you over nations and kingdoms, to pluck up and to pull down, to destroy and to overthrow, to build and to plant. Here ends the reading. Friends of Christ, keep in mind that you are on someone's mind. Indeed, someone's heart, mind, and soul yet again today. To be sure, uh, it might be your spouse or your children, might be your parents or grandparents, might even be a best friend or a work colleague, perhaps a client, even a competitor. And yet it might not be as well. In fact, even if none of those people were around to have you in their heart, soul, or mind, you are on someone's mind nonetheless. Our good news passage today is a compelling story of God calling Jeremiah into service as a prophet. Compelling in the case God makes for placing Jeremiah in such an important and challenging position and providing all the gifts necessary to fulfill that position. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. That long you have been in my heart, soul, and mind. Forever, says the Lord. And here's the good news. That level of intimacy is not reserved for prophets alone, but for all those who are created in God's own image and gifted to fulfill the calling to which God calls them. It's a truth that Peter proclaims in one of his first sermons in Acts chapter 10, after having been a witness to Jesus' resurrection from the dead. I truly understand, he says, that God shows no partiality. So friends in Christ, keep in mind, you're on someone's mind today. Indeed, someone's heart, mind, and soul. The one who knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. And who calls you to a particular service in the community of the world. And provides you the gifts to fulfill that calling. You're on someone's heart, soul, and mind. As is every other child of God ever created. Your spouse, your children, your parents, your grandchildren, grandparents, <laughs> grandchildren too. Best friends, work colleagues, clients even competitors. You're on someone's mind today and always. Amen. Uh, no new prayer updates for you today. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day and your weekend and uh, have a chance to worship with us uh, this weekend again online. Take care. Have a good day. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.